Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very fun day because I am actually getting ready to do a little shoot. I'm essentially shooting a lot of different type of content today for my channel and for Instagram and I need to get ready. I need to do my makeup, I need to do my hair. I just got out of the shower so my hair right now is pretty wet so I'm gonna show you guys how I've been styling it lately. A portion of today's video is also sponsored by Clinique. I'm gonna be talking about their new concealer. And without further ado, I gotta get going so let's get started. Okay, so like I said, I just got out of the shower so I already applied my skincare. I applied a vitamin C serum and I also applied a moisturizer. So now I'm just gonna go right in to my SPF because I have not applied that yet. So today I'm actually gonna be using these Kula Sun Silk Drops. I do really like these because it's very, very, very lightweight and I don't find that it really interrupts my makeup. Some sunscreens can do that. This really just like melts into the skin pretty instantly. And I do about two droppers about that much. It's a very, very thin texture and it's really nice. It's probably one of the most undetectable sunscreens that I've personally tried. It really just like melts into the skin and you don't even know it's there. I just wanna point out, even though it's winter and you may not be spending as much time outside, you still wanna apply your sunscreen every single day. I'm sure you're sick of hearing it because everybody says it, but it's just the truth. So for my foundation, I definitely want something that's going to be a little bit more full coverage. Like I said, I'm gonna be shooting stuff outside today and my face gets really red in the cold. I am able to cover it up slightly with more full coverage foundation. It does still kind of peek through, which is okay, but I want most of my skin to be covered, but I still wanna look natural looking. I always wanna look natural looking. I've spoken about this foundation like multiple times on my channel already. This is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation with SPF 25. This is one of my go-tos, especially if I am going to be taking photos because this isn't a super glowy foundation, even though this says it is a serum foundation. It's hydrating, but it's not super glowy. So it's going to still give you more like a soft matte finish, which is very, very flattering. It's not gonna make you look like overly glowy. So it's just very natural looking in the finish itself. And it's also great coverage. So it's going to completely cover up my face with no problem. And the texture is quite thin and serum-like. And so it still looks very, very natural, even though it has that really great coverage. So the shade that I'm gonna be using today is CN52 Neutral. Comes in a pump and I'm just gonna pump out I would say like one pump. I really don't need more than that. Like that doesn't look like very much, but like I said, a little bit does go a long way and it does spread really nicely on the face. So I'm gonna use a foundation brush with this. This is my Sigma Multitasker F47 and just load it up in the brush. So I'm really like working it into the brush. And then I'm just going to kind of like airbrush it onto my skin. I get some comments asking me how I avoid brush strokes when using a foundation brush. And I used to always experience that. It was like the most annoying thing ever. And the key is just to not have the foundation sitting right at the top of the bristles because that is going to apply number one, too much product. And it's also going to create those streaky marks, which you don't want. If you do work the product into the brush before you actually apply it, you're not going to have like an excess amount of product that you're working with. And so you're not gonna create those streaky lines. It's really just gonna work into the skin. So I applied a very, very thin layer across my entire face just to get a nice veil of coverage. This is exactly what I want. Like it doesn't look heavy at all, but it's still covered up my skin really nicely and really evenly. So now I'm gonna go in with the concealer. So this is the new Clinique concealer. It's the even better all over concealer and eraser. I'm so in love with this, you guys. This is like one of my new favorite concealers. It is so freaking good. I'm not just saying this, like I full wholeheartedly I'm obsessed. So what I like so much about this, it's kind of similar to why I like the foundation. This has a really beautiful natural matte finish, so it's not super glowy, and it's also not like drying or matte. It just lands right in the middle, so it's very natural looking, and it has amazing coverage. Like this covers up, but it still looks natural. And I just find that this makes my skin look so flawless. I've actually been using this on my no makeup makeup days as like the only base that I'm wearing. And then I'll just leave it at that and I feel like it makes my skin look pretty flawless even though I'm not wearing any foundation. It also comes with a little sponge applicator right at the tip, which is very convenient and cute. It's a nice little sponge to really get right in there underneath your eyes. So if you don't have any tools with you and you don't wanna use your finger, this is definitely great to use. I personally always like to use a brush. So I'm gonna be using the shade WN38 Stone which is a nice shade for me right now. It's not too crazy bright, but it's just brightening enough. And I'm gonna apply this in a couple different places. Underneath my eyes first, on the sides of my nose, on my chin, 
down the bridge of my nose. So those are the areas that I just want a little bit more light. And I'm just going in with my foundation brush and I'm just patting it out. And it blends so nicely. It stays so nice and thin, so it doesn't look cakey. This is really just everything I want in a concealer. And the combination of those two products really do mesh beautifully together because they're such a similar texture. They just kind of melt into each other. So here's what my base is looking like. I am going to set with a little bit of powder, nothing crazy. I'm gonna take my Kosas Cloud Set. You guys know the drill. You know how much I love it. I don't need to go on and on about it. Um, I'm just going to set, mm, should I set my entire face? You know, typically if I am doing something where I need my makeup to last the entire day, which today I do because I'm very busy, um, I am gonna set the majority of my face with my powder just to really lock everything in. This, this isn't really what I do on most days. Like typically I'll just concentrate the powder on certain areas of my face, but today I'm gonna really put it just like a very light layer everywhere. And this powder is so lightweight that it's not going to make my skin look heavy. And I'm using such a light fluffy brush. This is my Smith 103. So when I apply it, it's not, it's not like packing it on, you know? Okay, I kind of want to finish off my base before I move on to my eyes, just because I'm having a lot of fun with my base right now. I am going to start off with a cream bronzer. Um, I've used this in a couple videos already. This is my Say Natural Cream Bronzer. It's the Sun Melt in Medium Bronze. Definitely a cream bronzer that really melts into the skin really nicely. It's very, very natural looking on my shoot days or on days that I want, again, my makeup to last, I like to layer my creams and powders. So this is the first layer of bronze that we're gonna be using. So I'm just going in directly into the pot. This is a Real Techniques brush. It's like their dome foundation brush, I think. I love using this for bronzer. And I'm just gonna apply on all the areas that I typically bronze. So on my cheekbones, on my forehead, on my temples. And I'm gonna put whatever's left over on my brush on the sides of my nose, just to bring that color in there as well. And then whatever is even left over on my brush from that, I'm just gonna put that down my neck. Then I like to go in right away to set the cream with the powder. So I'm gonna be using my Glowish Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder in Tan Light. I've been loving this. This has been like my go-to bronzer. I really like this on its own, and I also love it on top of creams because it's not crazy pigmented. Um, so it doesn't like overdo the bronze. Sometimes when you do this technique, when you layer creams and powders together, it could look like really bronzy. <laughs> and so this is sheer enough that it's not going to like overdo it, but it's still gonna set the, the cream down. And then I love this on its own as well for day to day, that's what I've been using. And it's really natural looking and really beautiful. Okay, for my blush, I'm still obsessed with my rose ink blushes. These two colors are my favorites. This is Azalea and then this is Foxglove. They're kind of similar. Azalea is more of like a berry shade and Foxglove is more of like a terracotta shade. And Azalea is what I've been wearing the most. I just adore the way this makes my cheeks look. This is the color that I've been kind of been drawn towards the most lately anyway because it looks the most natural to me. It's kind of the shade that I get when I actually get flushed. And so it just looks very pretty. So I'm gonna be using this guy. So I'm just going to go in directly with an angled brush and just kind of like pat and blend. So I've been applying my blush kind of in a different way. I've been applying it a lot higher than normal. You can see I'm kind of tapping it almost where I would have put my highlighter right over here. And I find this just does a really beautiful job of lifting the face. I do blend it a little bit towards the apples of my cheeks just because I like the way that looks, but I put the majority of it like right here and it just looks really pretty, especially in photos. I'm gonna go right into my highlighter. This highlighter, you guys, is stunning. Okay, if you're like me and you also do not love powder highlighters anymore and you mainly go towards creams, this powder highlighter kind of looks like how a cream looks on the face, which is why I like it. And it's just such a buttery, gorgeous formula. It just applies so nicely. This is from M Cosmetics. It's their new Sunscape highlighter, and this one is in Clarity. So I just like to apply this with a very fluffy brush, and that's what gives me that very blended in look, which I'm looking for. Like, I don't want it to look like a stripe. And look at how 
stunning that is, you guys. Like, I can't get enough of it. I haven't been this excited about a highlighter, especially a powder highlighter, and I don't even know how long. Highlighter, especially in photos, I feel is really important because it just catches light really beautifully and it reflects gorgeously and it just looks good in photos. So I always like to generously apply and this one is Beautiful. And now I'm gonna do the eyes. The eyes I am gonna keep very, very simple. I have been adoring these Natasha Denona um, Glam Face Palettes. I have both of them actually over here and I've kind of been switching between the two. This is the light one and you have a bunch of different eyeshadows. Kind of reminds me of the shadows from the Biwa palette. And then you have a cream blush and a highlighter as well. And then this is the dark palette. So these are the shadows in the dark palette and then this is the cream blush and uh, the highlighter shade. So I'm going to be using the light one today. So like I said, I am gonna be doing something super simple. You can honestly use any eyeshadow palette to get the look that I'm going to do because it's really nothing fancy. But I do very much specifically like the inner corner shade in this palette because it's super, glowy and has a little bit of shimmer in it and I love the way it reflects on the lid and I've been wearing it on my lid like almost every single day. So that's really what I love most about the palette is like that specific shade. Not a reason to get the entire thing, but it is really a pretty palette. I do like it. So I'm gonna go into the crease shade, which is just a nice neutral medium tone brown and I'm just gonna run that on my upper crease. Just to add a little bit of definition there, I do find again in photos that little bit of definition does help. I don't want smokiness or anything, I just want a little bit of that definition. I'm gonna also put a little bit of this right on my lower lash line too. This isn't going to add any smokiness. Again, just definition. Then really for the best part, I'm gonna go in with the inner corner shade, which is just like a very sparkly glowy champagne and with my finger, I'm gonna put this all over my lid. I actually wore this the other day and I showed my look on Instagram stories and everybody was asking me what was on my lid. And it was this. Love keeping the eyes really fresh lately and not really putting anything else on. I've been doing this look with eyeliner without. Today I'm gonna to do it without. I'm just gonna put on mascara. So this is my Lancome Lash Idol mascara. And I'm just gonna pile this on. I find for photos, especially when makeup isn't the focus, which for today that's the case, I want my makeup to just look really nice and fresh. And like this eye look is perfect. Okay, for my brows, we're gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Aqua Resist which is just my brow gel that fills in my brows at the same time. I'm just gonna run this through. For lips, I really wanna try this Dior lipstick. Look at this packaging. This is not like so extra and insane. This is the Diorific 074 Satin Lipstick. Just looks like a really pretty rosy nude, which is kind of what I'm going for today. So to line, I'm gonna use M Cosmetics Kitten. So I'm just gonna line my lips first. Oh my God, this matches the lip liner literally perfectly. Pretty. Ooh, I love that color. Oh, oh, I love that. <laughs> I haven't used this yet and uh, I don't know. I didn't expect that I would like it this much. Here's the finished look. We have a very like flawless but simple base, simple on the eyes and simple on the lips. I love it, I'm very happy. Now we gotta do the hair. So I'm just going to very quickly blow dry it myself, just kind of roughly, and then I'll show you guys how I style it to get those nice waves. So I'll be right back with dry hair. So I just finished blow drying my hair very, very roughly. So it's just straight and somewhat smooth. So now I'm gonna spray some heat protectant in. I'm gonna use my Bumble Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Heat UV Protective Primer. It's really good at smoothing the hair and protecting it at the same time. So I'm actually just going to put some in my hands and then just distribute it like that, just so I get it really, really even. So I'm gonna section off my hair with a clip. For this wave technique, I use a flat iron. This guy is my GHD Platinum. And basically what I do is I take a piece that's about this big, sometimes smaller, just to kind of get some variation. And this is very, very easy. So you start at the root, you go down, you twist in, go down a bit, twist up, twist in, twist up, in and that's it and you're left with a very 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 soft s wave so let me show you again I'm taking a piece about this big starting at the root twist in go down twist up go down in 
down, up, down, in, down. And there you go. And I just repeat that on my entire head. It's very straightforward. I really like this style because I feel like it's a little bit more of a modern way to do a wavy hair look. It's a little bit different. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that on my entire head and then I will show you guys the finished look. So here's the finished hair, very simple waves. I still wanna smooth it out just a little bit more though. So I'm gonna use my Orbe Super Shine Moisturizing Cream. I've been loving this. I got this during the Sephora VIB sale, kind of on a whim. Um, it just had some good reviews and I love it. It really does a good job of just smoothing down my hair and keeping it looking shiny and smooth. So I'm gonna put the majority of this product through the ends just to really smooth them out. But you see the difference that that just made? Just kind of define the waves a little bit too. I don't really like using salt sprays in my hair because I find it dries it out like too much and it actually just doesn't look very good and these types of products just suit my hair texture a lot more. So there we go. And like I said, I am gonna be outside so I kind of just wanna set my hair down just a little bit with a little bit of hairspray. So I'm gonna use my IGK 1-800 Hold Me No Crunch Flexible Hold Hairspray. It's a really simple light hold hairspray. And just spray that everywhere. And this also gives the hair a little bit of texture too. It's the finished look and now I'm ready and I'm actually perfectly on schedule right now, which is great. So I gotta go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me for my creative shoot day. Let me know your comments, your thoughts and everything and hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy today's video and subscribe if you wanna join the fam. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.